Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is a long essay that is dental public health problems in India and uh, the problems which are associated with oral health. So this uh, answer is not very uh, much detailed uh, given in the textbook. So I have collected a little bit of information from the articles and from other sources. So let's see what are the dental public health problems of India. So that means the problems associated with the dental health of a public. So how the oral health problems are prevalent in our country. So uh, we know that our country is a developing country. We have a lot of uh, problems with affordability uh, because the majority of the population are under poverty line so their affordability and their accessibility to a dentist and uh, many problems they are facing so let's see what are the problems in detail so first we have a definition of dental public health so it is the science and art of preventing and controlling dental diseases and promoting dental health through organized community efforts okay so controlling the disease and preventing the formation of disease by organized community efforts so this word is important community efforts now no single individual can do any change in a community or a population so it should be a community effort in order to control the disease So what are the dental public health problems in India? So the first one is related to the workforce. Because we have a lot of dentists working in the private sectors. And they are practicing as a clinical dentist. Not as a public health dentist. So I have mentioned in my one of the session what is a clinical dentist and what is a public health dentist. So clinical dentist is based on uh, curative services like patient comes with pain, they treat the patient and they go back. But public health dentist is what actually uh, doing a promotion work like uh, how to promote oral health, how to prevent dental diseases, such things are uh, promoting to a group of people. So only a public health dentist can bring out a uh, good change in a society or a country related to the oral health. So public health, public health dentistry department in the country are not rooted in the community rather than it is confined to hospitals. That is one of the main problem. So the branch which is supposed to serve this population by uh, providing them oral health facilities and educational services, they are confined to hospitals. They are not going much into the field work. So the department has been used only to increase the number of patients. So in every college, the PhD department is actually working to get the patient from the outside to college to increase the revenue because they are not um, actually helping the people but actually they are helping the college by providing many patients by conducting camps so that the college will get a better revenue. And it is act as an advertising agency for the colleges because they do dental checkup camps which has very little benefit for the community. And the government has not properly executed oral health policy. We don't have a proper oral health policy in our country. That is the first and foremost problem. The next one is primary oral health care. So we know that what is primary health care. We have seen primary health centers and sub-centers. These are the grassroots level where the first level of uh, the people's contact with the health system. But we know that very few, that is not even 20% of primary health centers around the country have a dentist or a dental public health personnel. So it is very, very 
uh, rare in our country that a PHC is having a dentist post. So primary level care for a dentistry is not at all happening in our country. That is the biggest problem because everywhere we have a doctor that is MPBS doctor, but we don't have a dentist at a primary level. So that is the biggest problem because we know how primary health care has improved the health system of our country because uh, it has the uh, ease of access a, any layman any uh, slum people or any underprivileged people can go to a primary health center and get the basic treatment but if the same person is suffering from a oral health disease he has to travel to city or he has to travel to a private clinic and pay a lot of money for the treatment that he would definitely neglect and that ultimately affect his oral health so the primary level care is not provided in a, uh, in our country at any primary health center very few primary health centers having a dentist post even that they are under equipped they don't have a proper dental chair no instruments no equipments no other materials so even though we have few dentists at few places they are under equipped another problem is uh, the under utilization of internship program so we have a one year internship after the completion so the new dentist or the fresh dentist they don't know much about the community oral health they are not aware of the responsibility towards society so the attitude of new dentist is just to make money uh, start up a new clinic and uh, it is very much self-centered that attitude building of towards a uh, compassion towards the community is not happening at any places in our curriculum So that is one of the problem. Another one is self-medication of dental condition. Because majority of the conditions are like pain. So pain has to be dealt in properly because pain means we know that if a pain comes, it is reaching pulp. So we might go to a dentist and get a proper treatment done. But most of the patients, what they do, they go to over-the-counter medicines and take uh, some painkillers and... Uh, just uh, get rid of that pain but they are not treating the problem because if they go to the dentist they might need to pay a hefty amount if the dentist asking for a uh, root canal treatment or any other procedure so to avoid that he uses the medication so self-medication is the biggest problem in our country because it is a universal phenomenon so most of the European countries and other countries are also following it. But our country, the problem is uh, the affordability is a big issue. People can't afford a dental treatment because most of the dentists are working in private sector. And the another thing is mobile dentistry. So mobile dentistry, we know that every college will be having a mobile dental clinic. They go to the... Uh, rural areas and get the treatment done but uh, we know that how is the actual scenario most of the colleges dental vans not only uh, working sometimes they don't go to very rural places and uh, they go conveniently to few places with some NGOs which they have some connection with so it is all priorities so serving a community is the least priority in most of the cases and the research and other programs in dental public health. So we know that research is very much happening in our country. But the problem is research in our the public health sector or the dental public health sector is very, very at nascent stage. Even though we have a 300 odd dental colleges in India. So research in uh, other branches are happening. But uh, that is a clinical dentistry that is pertaining to that is focusing on an individual dentist. But Public health is not a matter of concern in any of the research. That is another problem we are facing. So that is a few problems in the dental public health. I'm not uh, talking about dental health. Dental health is like a individual's health. Dental public health is a health of uh, 
uh, a public related to oral cavity or oral health so that part is over now we have some national programs this is a part of five year plans so till 2014 we had five year plans now it is replaced by niti ayog so we don't have a planning commission so modi government removed the planning commission and five year plans and it got replaced by niti ayog niti ayog means national institute of transforming india so we have many programs preventive and promotive health care like mission indradhanush programs for communicable disease like rntcp nacp pulse polio program non communicable diseases like npc dcs nppc i am not explaining everything i just mentioning few names national nutrition program is there like mid day meal scheme program for strengthening like national program for health care of elderly Uh, miscellaneous programs so we have many programs what what we are trying to focusing on national programs associated with the dental public problems that is related to dental health so these are the general health problems but few pro pro problems are assessed or addressed by few of the national health programs and one of that program is national tobacco control program or ntcp and uh, we had a cotpa act 2003 that we had discussed in our epidemiology of oral cancer in detail so you can have a look on that video then we have a cigarette act 1975 we have national oral health program mid day meal program and few other programs like fluorosis program so what is national tobacco control program this is important because tobacco control program i mentioned it very clearly in that video anyway tobacco is responsible for mainly cancer so cigarette act was uh, passed in 1975 then 2003 this got passed uh, later government of india piloted a national tobacco control program in 2007 and 8 so program is under implementation in 21 out of 35 total union territories and states so countries has witnessed a community level initiatives for tobacco control there is a positive side of uh, this tobacco control program so sikkim was the first state in country to be declared smoke free in 2010 and uh, chandigarh was the first city to be declared smoke free in 2007 this is a state and this is city so we have some national oral health program that is nohp which was drafted in 1984 so we don't have still a oral health policy we have national health policy 1983 and uh, 2000 uh, we have uh, two different policies but we don't have a national oral health policy national oral health policy which was drafted in 1984 put forward some formulations and some resolutions so after 1984 there were two national workshops held at delhi and mysore during 1991 and 94 respectively so after that the fourth conference of central council of health and family welfare in october 1995 formulated a policy So it is the same time when WHO had given importance to dental health by selecting the theme oral health for healthy life for global health for the year 1994 that was only one year where oral health was given as world health a theme so let's see what were the oral health policy drafts resolutions so there were 10 resolutions these are not very much important so we can just have a look on this the first one was there is a urgent need on oral health policy for the nation so we need to prevent curative educational oral health care program integrated into existing system a post of full time dental advisor should be appointed at dghs then prevent the rising trends of dental diseases and oral cancer 
Oral health services be introduced from the village level onwards and accordingly as a pilot project which was launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare during 1905 and 96 in five districts. Then council further resolves the legislative measures to adopt to uh, reduce the dental caries by wrapping up the sweets with uh, uh, quads such as too much eating sweets may lead to decay of tooth. Similar measures also call for tobacco and pan masala related products. So 23 states and uh, out of 29 is already banned this good car and 11 states banned smokeless tobacco then the council recommend a national oral health care program training center the council also resolves that all district hospitals and community health centers have a dental clinic and all dental college colleges should have courses on dental hygienist and dental technician and further resolves that the pilot project may be extended to all the states at the rate of one district in every state. So these were the resolutions, not the plans, just resolutions. Many were not uh, reached beyond the paper. So few of them were taken up into consideration, but many of the pro projects or the resolutions were not being implemented. So what happened after that? Mm. So the National Oral Health Policy, Oral Health Care Program has been launched by Pilot Project. If I state that's just we discussed. Then uh, health programs are giving negligence importance to oral health. Model for infant and child oral health promotion. So that was proposed by Javdekar in 2013 and oral health policy phase one for Karnataka. So those two were oh, recent development. Then uh, World Health Organization and Government of India was held a workshop to expand the role of dental force in NRHM, that is National Rural Health Mission. So current oral health programs, not much oral health programs is running in India. The one of the very few is Mild Train, which actually started in New York. Uh, so every year 35,000 children in India are born with cleft palate or the cleft lip. So these are characterized by Smile Train, which is a train with a hospital facility under totally free. So 2000 Smile Train has sponsored over 45, 4 lakh 50 thousand surgery across India, but there are still estimated uh, 10 lakh untreated cases of cleft lip. So that were the few programs, one of the very few programs which is happening on the oral health side. So we were discussing uh, dental public health programs. Uh, dental public health problems then national health programs and the few programs associated with oral health so this was a essay asked once what are the national health problems or national health programs associated with oral health and what are the dental public health problems so dental public health problems is different mm, like uh, what is uh, public health sector is facing related to oral health and this is different like tobacco program and other programs so it is not very interesting topic but a question I have asked so i kept this uh, few articles points here so you can uh, refer the points and make note of it and uh, write it for an essay or short note it won't be asked for short note Mostly it will be a 10 mark or 14 mark question. So thank you.